State and local leaders across the country are offering to take in refugees amid bipartisan calls to swiftly evacuate tens of thousands of Americans and our allies in Afghanistan. But our next guest says accepting refugees in her city of Baltimore would be a lose-lose for everyone involved, especially the most vulnerable. Former Maryland congressional candidate Kim Klasik joins us now. Kim, great to see you. Here is the tweet from Good the mayor, you. Mayor Brandon M. Scott, quote, since 1999, Rescue Org has resettled thousands of refugees in Baltimore who've made significant contributions to our city and nation. As mayor, I will proudly welcome refugees from Afghanistan in search of a new home. Hashtag be more welcoming be, of course, referencing Baltimore. Why do you say the mayor should reconsider, Kim? Well, unfortunately, our mayor seems to not have his priorities right. We have a humanitarian crisis here in Baltimore ourselves. My first question would be, where would we house these individuals, right? Uh, according to Department of HUD, we currently have 2,600 people that are without shelter just right now. Now, a lot of these people coming across from Afghanistan, unfortunately, they left their home with just the shirts on their backs. We currently have a poverty rate of 21.8 percent. Now, if you include the fact that I was just on this show three weeks weeks ago, talking about our Baltimore City Police Commissioner begging for federal resources because we don't have enough officers on patrol. We're actually down 600 officers to protect the citizens that we currently have. And not to mention, our Baltimore City Public School System is also not doing their job. We currently have 41 percent of our Baltimore City High School students with a 1.0 and below GPA. So how on earth can we take any more people? I just don't understand. Yeah, but Kim, I mean, you look at the images, you look at the pictures, you look at the video, you see what's happening to women, you see what's happening to children, you see people throwing their children over the walls at the airfield just to be able to get them out of harm's way. I mean, how do we not help those who we have, by the way, promised we would help? Yeah, and, and I believe that we should still continue to help. Uh, our governor here in Maryland, he said just two days ago that we could take in 180 refugees and do it responsibly. I think it should be left up to the governor of the state. I don't think the Baltimore mayor should have a say in this instance. And I think he should really decide whether or not he wants to do the right thing as the mayor and continue to protect the citizens he already sworn to protect here. Uh, I agree. We should have more refugees coming across that are in need, and we should help them them because we did vow to help them in the past, uh, but I don't know if Baltimore City is the best place uh, for them to come. So to that point, in light of what you said about Governor Larry Hogan, are you okay with these refugees coming to the state of Maryland, just being dispersed throughout the state, not in Baltimore? Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and if he believes that we can take on a few here in Baltimore, uh, absolutely do that. And, but I trust the governor to be able to do that right. I mean, here in Baltimore City, we even have a problem with individuals getting vaccinated. Uh, you know, right now, our, our mask mandate is back in effect. Uh, the Baltimore City mayor put the mandate in just last week uh, because we have a rise in the Delta variant cases. And so these are things that we should consider. I mean, until we protect our own, uh, I don't understand how we could bring in more refugees, but I do hope that we do something because, like you said, they deserve a better life. Kim Klasik, thank you for joining us this morning. As always, we appreciate it.